Hello everybody, my name is Kevinto. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do something a little bit special. Some of you may know me as the creator of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant map in Minecraft made in TechKit with mods, with working reactors and working mechanisms. That was a hard project of mine that I, I built on that map for several years in a row until I finally released the map last year for the public to download and play as much as you want. The link for that map will be in this description as well. Otherwise, if you want to go, check out my old videos on the map. A link should pop up right about here somewhere. Go check that out. That's where my journey started, basically, on YouTube. This time I have a much better computer, which means that I can put the render distance on, on maximum. So I can finally show you the map the way that it was intended to look like. Where you can actually see how massive the map is. So take this ride with me. Come along, have some fun, and if you have any questions, comment down below, alright? And don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this clip. And if you're not already subscribing, smash the sub button and the bell button so you won't miss out on any future videos that I post just like this one. Are you ready to go back to Chernobyl and reactor hall number 4? Because that's what we're gonna do right about now. Okay, here we go! We are back, oh my goodness, it has been so long, amazing. Alright, as you guys can see, this is how I wanted to show you the map from the beginning. Without the lag, being able to put the render distance on, on far, you know, so that you can actually see how friggin big this map is. You see, the amazingness of this power plant, oh my god, it took me four to five years to complete this map. and. When I released it, it, it wasn't even 100% finished yet, because I just couldn't put more time into it, you know? And, <laughs> yeah, that's just the way it is. But we're gonna take a little tour of the nuclear power plant. This, as you can see, is the entrance. You make your way in here, and it's a lovely little reception desk. Where's Greta? This is a security desk. In here you got some employee locker rooms, and stuff like that. Oh shit, I locked myself in there. Welcome to the Chernobyl Nuclear Power Plant, Electric Company. Radiation detectors. Holy shit, we're already contaminated. We've got the roof access here. Well, one of them at least. This is the workers' restaurant. We got an entire kitchen in here. A TV. Some sofas, tables, stuff like that. Awesomeness. There's a food storage. This this is the living quarters for the personnel. This is the offices. I haven't really decorated these ones. This is Top Dino's office. Over here we have Diotlov. So this stuff that isn't finished is for you guys to do whatever you want with. Alright. Two spent fuel port processing. You see this? If you go down here you're gonna make your way to the train depot secured and spent fuel. Here is the spent fuel port to the processing building. So you see these nice carts here? Basically, this is where all the spent fuel ends up. You put them in here, and you pull this lever. Oh, it's already activated. There you go. And it, the cart will go all the way over to the processing building. All right, let's go out here. This is a spent fuel control room. Got that over here. Nice, very nice. The unit 4 pumps is in here. Yep. We've got actual pumps here with water running we're running through them. Water flow shut down. And that was a sheet. That's Yeah, that's interesting. Um alright. You see here? This is a connective hall to unit three and four. And it's also the second floor of the pumps. So this is pumps for the unit three. Here's the chimney ventilation. This is in the middle of the building. So if you go up there, you can go all the way up to the chimney top. Go in here, this is the, this is the unit 4 pumps room. And here we go, we're gonna make our way to the central hall number 4 and the connective stairs. Got a nice little storage here. This is the unit 4 pumps. Let's go further into the reactor, shall we now? Sorry, into the power plant, I mean. God damn it, it's been so long. This is the reactor for steam separators. 
this looked like shit before. Everything was made... Oh, I haven't changed the bottom of this one? That's kind of sloppy of me. The fuck? It's supposed to look like this anyway. I'm sorry I didn't do that. These are actual pumps. I'm sorry, that's not pumps. These are... <laughs> these are actual steam generators. I'm sorry. And these pipes are actually connected to the reactor. All the way to the reactor. And yes, that is, that is totally true. See this? Oh yeah, you like that? This is the central hall number four, where the shit went down, where everything went to hell. I hope you like what you see. And the sound of the flowing water is from the reactor core that is currently underneath us. We're gonna check that out very soon. But now, first of all, we're gonna move to the control room. Where the bad decisions were made. This is the steam separators for unit three, by the way. All right. Going down here. This is the golden corridor. Oh, the lovely golden corridor. Yep. As you can see. Let's make our way to the control rooms, which are up. It's not here. This is unit four pumps. And here we go. We're going to make our way to the control rooms right over here. Unit four control room. Will you look at that? Oh, yeah. I tried to make it as authentic as possible it is hard because in minecraft you're kind of limited to that everything is square shaped okay and you don't always have the items that you want to have but there's a bigger possibility when using tech it like i did so these are, are the uranium rod surveillance system this is yeah just you know look at the pictures of the real control room and you'll get what i mean this is a fuel rod loader and this is actually functional all right so if you pull this lever, it's connected to the central hall number four. So pull this lever and you're actually going to see a fuel rod traveling through the tubes all the way down to the core of the reactor, installing itself inside of the reactor. And over here, we have the infamous emergency cooling shutdown AZ-5 button. You pull this bitch, you will insert cooling rods into the reactor core, cooling down the temperature. This is the alarm system. And this is also functional, because I connected it to the reactor with temperature measurement instruments. So, if the reactor temperature goes up a little bit too high, this orange lamp is going to light up. This yellow lamp is always going to be on when the reactor is operational, which it's not at the moment. And if the shit hits the fan, <laughs> which it did in reality, uh, this red lamp will go off and so will the alarm, like this. Yep, kind of an annoying sound, but if that happens when you play, uh, it means you gotta leave the building, like, immediately. Because shit is about to explode, and there's basically nothing you can do to stop it, because you're not gonna make your way to the core. You don't have time for that. Alright, so here we go to the Unit 3 control room. Now, this is actually, as you can see, not 100% finished. I try to make it look exactly like control room number 4, but I'm not completely done yet. I mean, I've put the most important stuff in place, but I haven't connected the alarm system yet, for example. And I haven't connected any of the other levers. That's up to you guys to play around with. That's why I released the map a little bit unfinished, because what's the point of releasing a map when you can't do nothing more than play around, you know? You have to, you, you have to be able to build whatever you want. Now, this is the upper connective corridor. Uh, this leads us to back to central hall number four and the control rooms and over here this is another stairwell now I put signs up basically everywhere fuck it is dark in here let's put a lamp here uh, let's put that one here there we go much better now I put signs up everywhere in the power plant that I could possibly think of so that you won't get lost because this map I mean this power plant is Friggin gigantic, <laughs> all right <laughs> So In order for you not to get completely lost I put signs up You know on every place that I could possibly think of uh, so golden corridor just goes over here And this is the pa corridor pathway. It's gonna lead us back to the uh, uh, Let me think the turbine hall of course it has to be oh, yeah, there we go Turbine hall. I mean, I even put take right so that you will understand that you're gonna take right over here. Now, here's the turbine hall, third floor. 
so you can overlook the entire turbine hole from here. I want to see, I want to show you how, how awesome this is, okay? Now, this is the way to the Golden Corridor. Here we go with the Golden Corridor, all right? Yeah, nice. You like that? Here we are in the turbine hole. So yeah, I put every lamp manually in place. Uh, only filling the turbine hall with the lamps took me about a week. So, yeah. This is where shit gets interesting. You see this stuff? This turbine over here is actually functional. Because underneath this thing here goes a power cable. You can see it over there. It goes straight into the reactor core. So when the reactor core is activated, it actually produces power. And fills up this battery over here. So you're actually producing electricity while using the reactor. And then you can connect that cable to power cables that go outside, transforming into electricity, and then you can connect that to anything in the world that you would like, that needs power. Friggin' amazing. Let's go into the pump room and see what we got there. Yeah, nice. Now, you see, this, the thing is, okay. Yeah, okay. I don't like those random Minecraft sounds. You pipe hole. Yeah, this is the pipe hole. Spare and emergency pumps. Yeah, I actually put act. You see these pumps? Oh fuck! Why the, why the fuck did I do that? What the fuck is going on? Uh, roof access. Nice. Oh oh, look at that. Will you look at that? Yep. This. Oh oh oh, oh shit. Now let's get an overview of the power plant. Shall we now? Now this, now this is the back side of it. Oh yeah, baby. And over here, far far away, is actually unit 2, unit 1, unit 2. So this is the famous door where the guys like walk out with their shovels, shoveling graphite, throwing down from the roof, down on reactor number 4. Just like that. We're gonna end this video later by blowing up Reactor 4. You know what? We're actually gonna do that now. We're gonna recreate the accident of Reactor number 4 in Chernobyl. Now, what I'm about to show you is what you're not supposed to do if you don't want shit to actually explode. So, let's go down to the core, and the core is over here. Over here! There we go! Yep! Now this is the entrance to the core of the Unit 4 RBMK reactor. Now this is the this is the heart of it all. Here we go. This is the nuclear reactor. You see it's already loaded up with shit. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out the cooling rods and then we're gonna activate the reactor. And then we're gonna try and make it to the control room in time before the shit explodes. So I'm not sure if we can actually do that, but uh, we're gonna try. Let's pull out these. Are you ready for this? And we are activating in three, two, one. Fuck my ass. Okay, let's try to make our way up to the control room. Let's take a look at the uh, panel here. I'm gonna load it up with a little bit more fuel rods. Okay, this is gonna go fast as fuck. Oh, there we go. Oh no, oh no. Comrade Dyatlov, what is happening? We do not understand what is happening. Yeah, but, oh, fuck me. Okay. Pull that shit. Oh, no. Fuck. We're going to die. What the fuck are we going to do? Oh, pull the AZ-5. Uh, should we get out of here? No, no. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, this is perfectly normal. Yes, we had uh, we had explosion. I think I am uh, maybe I have uh, radiation sickness. Uh, I think we need to control damage. What does the decimeter say? Uh, Three point six wrong, but that's as high as the meter. Three point six. Not great, not terrible. Not great, not terrible. Jesus fucking Christ! Oh yeah, radioactive fallout rain. We love that. We love it. Oh, I think the reactor is fine. Actually, it looks uh, it looks all right. <laughs> God damn it! That's uh That's an explosion! Oh reactor core, what's in here? Oh, oh. So I hope you guys really enjoyed that tour 
That was a short little tour. There is so much more than what I showed you to explore on this map. As you can see, that this is basically a never-ending map with never-ending rooms. And with never-ending rooms that aren't finished so that you can actually do whatever you want with them. That's kind of the point with this map. I wanted to have a functional reactor. I wanted like the main building basically finished for you guys to play around with however you want. There is no end to the imagination and the creativity that, that you can put into this if you'd like to. You can use this map, you can use this map on YouTube, you have my total permission to do it to do that. I would definitely appreciate a little bit of a credit in your video if you did that, because I spent like four to five years completing this map. Um, I almost went crazy on the end there. <laughs> so, with that said, thank you for watching this video, and thank you for downloading my map, and thank you for believing me, in me that I could actually pull this off. And uh, I hope you enjoy the map, I really do. And uh, I know that somebody asked me to do a tutorial of how tech it works, and uh, I'm definitely thinking about doing that, so that you guys know what you can do with the blocks that are inside of the ticket mods, which this map is built with. There's a lot of possibilities using ticket. So download link is in the description of this video, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. And if you subscribe, don't forget to turn on your notifications so you won't miss out on any future videos that I post just like this one. And I would really appreciate a thumbs up on this clip. That would definitely make my day. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye.